American Freemason Albert Pike composed a letter 146 years prior specifying how the elites intend to dispatch World War III in the 21st century. The letter, written in 1871, subtle elements how the New World Order will incite a holy war between the Zionists and the Islamic world. The Third World War must be instigated by exploiting the distinctions caused by the agenture of the Illuminati between the political Zionists and the pioneers of Islamic world. The war must be directed such that Islam, the Muslim Arabic world, and political Zionism, the State of Israel, commonly pulverize each other. Then alternate countries, a fresh partitioned on this issue will be compelled to battle to the point of finish physical, good, profound and efficient weariness. 3 worldwarscom reports, Albert Pike got a dream, which he portrayed in a letter that he kept in touch with Mazzini, dated August 15, 1871. This letter graphically delineated plans for three world wars that were viewed as important to realize the one world order and we can wonder about how precisely it has anticipated occasions that have effectively occurred. Pike's Letter to Mazzini It is a usually trusted false notion that for a brief time frame, the Pike letter to Mazzini was in plain view in the British Museum Library in London, and it was replicated by William Guy Carr, previous intelligence officer in the Royal Canadian Navy. The British Library has affirmed in keeping in touch with me that such a record has never been in their ownership. Besides, in Carr's book, Carr incorporates the accompanying reference. The keeper of manuscripts as of late educated the creator that this letter isn't inventoried in the British Museum Library. It appears to be interesting that a man of Cardinal Rodriguez's learning ought to have said that it was in 1925 inches. It gives the idea that Carr found out about this letter from Cardinal Carui Rodriguez of Santiago, Chile, who composed the mystery of Freemasonry unveiled. To date, no indisputable evidence exists to demonstrate that this letter was ever composed. By and by, the letter is broadly cited and the point of much discourse. Following are obviously concentrates of the letter, indicating how three world wars have been made arrangements for some ages. The First World War must be achieved with a specific end goal to allow the Illuminati to oust the energy of the Tsars in Russia and of making that nation a post of skeptical communism. The divergence is caused by the agenture, operators, of the Illuminati between the British and Germanic empires will be utilized to incite this war. Toward the finish of the war, communism will be manufactured and utilized as a part of request to pulverize alternate governments and keeping in mind the end goal to debilitate the religions. Understudies of history will perceive that the political unions of England on one side and Germany on the other fashioned in the vicinity of 1871 and 1898 by Otto von Bismarck, co-plotter of Albert Pike, were instrumental in achieving the First World War. The Second World War must be incited by exploiting the contrasts between the fascists and the political Zionists. This war must be realized so Nazism is decimated and that the political Zionism be sufficiently solid to organize a sovereign territory of Israel in Palestine. Amid the Second World War, International communism must wind up noticeably sufficiently solid keeping in mind the end goal to adjust Christendom, which would be then controlled and kept under tight restraints until the point when the time when we would require it for the last social upheaval. After this Second World War, communism was made sufficiently solid to start assuming control weaker governments. In 1945, at the Potsdam Conference between Truman, Churchill, and Stalin, a substantial bit of Europe was basically given over to Russia, and on the opposite side of the world, the result of the war with Japan cleared the tide of communism into China. Perusers who contend that the terms Nazism and Zionism were not known in 1871 ought to recollect that the Illuminati created both these developments. What's more, communism as a belief system, and as a begat expression, starts in France amid the revolution. In 1785, Restif began the expression four years previously upheaval broke out. Restif and Babeuf, thus, were impacted by Rousseau, similar to the most acclaimed schemer of all, Adam Weishaupt. The Third World War must be incited by exploiting the distinctions caused by the agenture of the Illuminati between the political Zionists and the pioneers of Islamic world. The war must be directed such that Islam, 
the Muslim Arabic world, and political Zionism, the State of Israel, commonly obliterate each other. Then alternate countries, yet again isolated on this issue will be obliged to battle to the point of finished physical, good, otherworldly and conservative fatigue. We might release the nihilists and the skeptics, and we should incite a considerable social disaster which in all its awfulness will demonstrate obviously to the countries the impact of supreme agnosticism, starting point of viciousness and of the most bleeding turmoil. At that point all over, the nationals, obliged to shield themselves against the world minority of progressives, will eradicate those destroyers of human advancement, and the huge number, frustrated with Christianity whose deistic spirits will from that minute be without compass or course, on edge for a perfect, yet without knowing where to render its worship, will get the genuine light through the general indication of the unadulterated convention of Lucifer, brought at long last out in the general visibility. This indication will come about because of the general reactionary development which will take after the obliteration of Christianity and skepticism, both vanquished and eradicated in the meantime. Since the fearmonger assaults of Sept 11, 2001, world occasions, and specifically in the Middle East, demonstrate a developing agitation and shakiness between modern Zionism and the Arabic world. This is totally in accordance with the require a third world war to be battled between the two, and their partners on the two sides. This third world war is still to come, and late occasions demonstrate to us that it isn't far removed.